which is kind of exciting. I am a bit of a perfectionist and I often feel like if I can't do something perfect on the first try then I'm just going to wait until I can do so and then I realize that the perfect time never comes. So this is just me trying to get into the habit of creating content all the time. These vlogs might not be perfect but that is the whole point is that if you also feel inspired to do something but you find that you keep wanting to put it off until you can do it until it's perfect i'm just gonna tell you right now the perfect time is never gonna come because that's not how it works if you want to do something you just gotta do it so that is what i'm going to start i am going to start making vlogs and i'm going to start creating content and filming something almost every day so i can start getting in the habit of just creating content that way I can find a workflow that works for me and is effective and keeps me feeling inspired but not super overwhelmed. Yeah, these vlogs are not going to be perfect because this is literally me doing the thing and figuring it out as I go. So yeah, if you also feel like you are stuck and you want to do something but you don't know how to do it because you feel like you can't do it perfectly, I'm going to tell you just try it anyways. The worst that's going to happen is you'll learn something of like, Oh, I actually don't like how this turned out. How can I fix that? Great. Let me do that different next time. And then you just keep going on from there. So I do just want to say that if you hear weird noises throughout this vlog, they are completely redoing the apartment that is right next to me that I share the wall with. Um, literally gutting the entire thing like they took the walls out and everything and they're redoing all of it and this construction has been going on for like four weeks at this point and I did not get a heads up about this and I'm not going to continue to wait until they're done so if you hear noises I'm sorry there's nothing I can do about it but I don't want that to stop me from doing the thing today's my day off and I have a whole list of things that I need to do today um, but I kind of wanted to share how I get around the feeling of indecisiveness and the paralysis that I feel around having to make a decision. That is something that is very common with ADHD. And I found something that might work and I'm trying it out. Well, so first of all, I've already been really productive. Did, did a few er errands this morning and I am now on my second coffee. And now I feel like my mind is pretty clear and I was able to write down a list of all of the things that I could do today and I'm going to share that with you. All right, so whenever I feel like I have a million things that I want to do but I don't necessarily know what to do, like which one to start with, I start by making a list of all of the things that I could get done today. Not the things that I have to do today but all of the things that I could get done. So on here I have all, like it's literally, there's no category, it's anything that I could spend my time on today, I am going to put on this list. So like I have things like laundry, dishes, vacuum, and dust, which that is something that I will do today because my apartment is a mess. Then over here I have like just different like content ideas that I could do, like I could edit my exorcist thing, I can plan my October posting schedule, I can film a couple different like SFX videos that I did. I can fill about vlog, which is, this is what I'm doing right now, which is fun. Um, and just like things that I need to do. This way I have a list um, of things that I could do, but this is not a list of all of the things that I am forcing myself to get done today. This is not a list of the things that I am going to try to cram in today. This is a list of things that I want to do eventually that if I feel like I don't know what to do, I'm going to turn to this list and be like, all right, I tried to do this, but this isn't working for whatever reason. I'm not feeling inspired to do this. I feel overwhelmed by this. So what's something else on this list that I can do? And I literally have 16 things on this list that I can do. And I feel like this is going to help keep me in check for today. I cannot do laundry, dishes, vacuum, and dust right now because they, the construction workers, actually shut the water off to my building, which is great. Something else that I have on my list right now is I need to take all of my, like I have so many different memory cards for my camera full of content that needs to be put on a hard drive so I can reformat my 
memory cards every time I film. And I also have a lot of like projects that I already have posted that are just like sitting on my computer. They're sitting in Adobe and or they're sitting in a DaVinci and they're taking up space and so I need to get them off. So I'm going to start working on things that I can do on my computer while I feel like sitting down for a little bit and then I'm going to film some more things afterwards. So. My water was finally turned back on um, so I am now going to get up and get the blood flowing a little bit I'm going to do my dishes clean off my counters clean my kitchen and then I'm going to like make my bed and stuff and make my background look nice that way I can film a video I think I want to do a makeup tutorial today the vlog process feels a lot better it feels pretty manageable today so far um, so far the list was really helping as well. I feel like I was able to check a couple of things off just in the last hour since I created it. And yeah, I feel like this might be a good workflow. Um, also I just want to say that like because I have ADHD, I feel like sometimes I have to be very particular about my workflow and I struggle with things that other people might not necessarily struggle with so if you also have ADHD and you feel like you struggle with procrastination and stuff I'm just wanting to share this journey and this process with you so maybe you can help yourself find a better workflow for yourself as well just like I am trying to do so yeah I have the dishwasher running, so it's a little noisy, but <laughs> my work uh, has amazing like almond croissants and sometimes when we have extras of them, I'll like take one home to eat. And I took this home yesterday after work and this is going to be my snack. <laughs> and I'm so excited, these are so good. So I know it's super dark, but I actually, hello baby panther, I just wanted to show you how 
dark and how cozy my apartment gets. It is three, almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I have blackout curtains so I just light some candles, I throw a YouTube video on and it's nap time. <laughs> um, so dark and so cozy and I'm gonna have a good nap. Um, it is after five o'clock. <laughs> I just woke up from my nap. Uh, I needed that nap. It felt really good. But I bought Razzles for a shoot that we ended up not using them. And I'm gonna eat some. It's been a really long time since I've had a Razzle. And let's see. The raspberry one. Good. I am on my third water bottle. So I'm almost halfway done. I think now I'm going to spend a little bit of time on editing something together. So I'm testing out a new um, video editing app. It is called Adobe Rush. It is a part of my Adobe subscription that I already have. And I wanted to make like a cute fall aesthetic um, coffee video, uh, just like one of me making my cold brew and one of my clear mugs that I thought would be really cute, just for just for something that's nice and relaxing to watch. It's not makeup related, but I'm trying to incorporate more of like my everyday life and like my personality and like showing more about like me in my content. That is that way, it's not just all makeup, and you get to see a little bit about who I am and what I do. And so that's also what this vlog is about as well. And yeah, so this is just kind of a day in my life, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's time to get some more work done. That nap was really refreshing and I really needed it. Look at my sleepy panther. Oh, so sleepy. It's still her nap time. Okay, so this is Adobe Rush. Um, it's supposed to be able to be connected from your phone and you should be able to pick it up right on your computer, right where you left off. So we're gonna try it. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to find, let's see. have my video I am uploading it here and let's see how long this takes all right so we have my coffee video here I'm gonna start editing it so let's see
Okay, so I have it saved right here. Let's go ahead and relaunch Adobe. Nope, not DaVinci. Adobe Rush. Okay, so I keep getting this error on my phone. Oh, well now the projects are completely gone. So I'm gonna try by creating the project on my computer and then seeing if it will sync and I can edit it on my phone. All right, so we have it up here, effects, great. Um... Okay, so it looks like it is actually on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up right on my phone and I'm going to export this and open it up in TikTok and Instagram and see how it works from there. All right, so it took me a little bit to figure it out, but now that I figured it out, it's I got it from my computer back onto my phone and I just saved it. So we're going to upload it to TikTok. And we're gonna see, all right. I'm just gonna mute the sound, but apparently if you do a super cute fall aesthetic video over the sound of the Gilmore Girls song, you're, you go viral. We're gonna see if that works. We're gonna see if that's true. Because every time I feel like I try one of these viral things, I don't go viral. But maybe today will be different. Alrighty, so it is almost 10 o'clock and I am showered. I am ready for bed. 
I finished my day off by doing all of my laundry and then I kind of just did a little bit more editing and relaxing. I just watched some different YouTube videos and yeah, I feel really... I feel like today was a good relaxing day uh, and I wanted to thank you all for spending today with me. <laughs> I wanted to thank you all for spending today with me and I really enjoyed this process so I think that I'm gonna keep doing it because it's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna keep doing it so as long as I feel like it's in fun as long and as long as I am enjoying it. So if you want to see more vlogs, if you enjoy this type of thing, you should go ahead and follow me and subscribe. I will link all of my socials and everything in the description below as well as I'll put them on the end screen and yeah, I hope you all have <laughs> I hope you all have a great rest of your night, day, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.